Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. So, here I have my scanner set up. I have the software installed, comes with the license key and the dongle. Pretty easy install. You plug this uh, scanner in while the install is uh, going on. And uh, to plug it in and get it working, you need to plug in the adapter as well. You can see it's plugged in. There's a little uh, dual uh, adapter here. So you plug that in, plug that into your computer. Um, there's a few buttons on the back here. You can see there's, a, there's the capture button and a couple of adjustment buttons up there. So it's pretty straightforward. Once it's all installed, first thing you need to do whenever you want to use it is to calibrate it. So you can see there's three different scan modes. And before I do any scanning, I need to calibrate it. And that's what this, this little panel is for. So at a minimum, you're going to have to calibrate uh, to this panel five times in several different orientations. And it gives you some instructions. So the easiest way that I find to set this up is these dots, the three dots, are to my left. Okay? So I set that down on the table in front of me. This table's kind of high. Um, I'm six foot two, but this is a, a, a I'm several inches taller than a regular table, so I'm going to have to hold the scanner a little differently. You can see it's flashing like mad. Okay? And then um, it also gives you some instructions that when you do hold the scanner, it needs to be perpendicular to the ground, not the plate. And you'll see what I'm talking about in the next series of scans. So you put the little X in the square, you turn on your snap state. Once that's on, you slowly back up. You try to keep the little cross in that square. Listen for the chime. As soon as it chimes, lets you know, on to the next. So the next is, I need to use, ah, look at that, you're gonna go blind. I need to use this little stand to slide this in. Now I'm gonna keep it in the same orientation, and this is telling you, if you look at the picture, the scanner is gonna be held in this direction. The three dots are pointing along the top of the scanner, so top of the dot, top of the scanner, three dots, and do exactly as I did before. Start out in the center of the square, and set my capture, and slowly back up. And remember to remain perpendicular to the ground. Okay, you're not, you're not going at an angle like this to the plate, you're going, you're staying perpendicular or parallel to the ground, whichever one you want it to be. Okay, once again, just turn this 90 degrees. It's easier to turn this and keep this in the same position. Align it. Everything's just as it needs to be. Actually, let me uh, put the cable behind me. Get this kind of out of the way. And snap, center of the square, and slowly back up. degrees, parallel to the ground, perpendicular, whichever way you want to look at it. This is camera, the, the scanner is pointing in the same direction, just the plate has changed. One more time. Snap state, center square, slowly back up. Once you have all the required scanned angles, you may have to do an additional one, depending on the lighting and what you're doing. This may have to be flipped over. Um, but uh, here, it's telling you it's got what it needs. It's calibrating. It's going to take it a minute, but it's calibrating all of the the different angles, it knows where all the points are relative to all the other points from the four different angles and also from the flat plane that we initially measured. So at a minimum you need five of these types of uh, calibrating uh, exercises for the scanner to know the depth of field. So we'll just set this down, we'll wait, and it comes back and says, hey look at that. Camera collaboration is a success. So this window is going to close, it's going to come over to with scan mode, and then you just pick the scan mode and you hit next. 
and you're ready to do your scans. So uh, pretty straightforward uh, once you get the hang of it. Um, so far I'm finding the scanner is nice and light. It's got a good feel as far as uh, robustness. It doesn't feel like it's flimsy or anything like that. It's got a nice palm grip and all the other all, all the stuff that you're looking for because let's face it, if you have something that you're going to be holding for hours at a time potentially, maybe you're scanning a car, you don't want it to be too heavy because it'll make your arm tired, you'll get fatigued. So, um, so far so good. I like everything about it. Once Now that I'm used to the interface of the software and used to the uh, interface on the actual scanner, it's really simple, fairly clean. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Ask me some questions, whatever it is you need. Again, uh, my name is Stephen Margia with Class A Surfacing. Um, if you like the video, please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Bye.